Okay, so I've hooked up here the 505 timer IC, and I wanted to go ahead and show you guys the um, capabilities it has as a waveform generator, and I've got it hooked up to an oscilloscope to show you exactly how it works. And uh, let me go ahead and show you the, the pin outputs on the 555 timer are as such. And so the way it works is that the incoming power is going to create a trigger and in order to create the right kind of trigger you need a capacitor that charges and discharges and uh, you also need the required resistance which you see here I have a potentiometer for a variable resistance so that you can change the waveform the output so we'll go ahead and turn it on to show you uh, first of all the output with the LED so you can see that it, it blinks but when we adjust the potentiometer here you can see that you can make it blink slower or make it blink faster but let me go ahead and show you on the oscilloscope what that looks like so here you can see the waveform the yellow waveform is the uh, charging and discharging of the capacitor so that's a sawtooth waveform but um, you can see that we can either slow it down just by by turning the uh, potentiometer and uh, we can make it speed up faster and faster and this also allows you to use it as a um, motor driver circuit for PWM which requires a, a little bit of a different hookup as far as uh, you know the 505 timer IC and also you need a few diodes and, and other things but the uh, blue waveform here that's going to be your output that's a square wave that it puts out and you can see by changing the resistance uh, you're, you're changing the time constant so it changes the time it takes for the capacitor to charge and discharge so that's also going to change your output so the 555 timer takes the uh, charging and discharging trigger and creates a square square wave um, so you can see that I've got the my probes are hooked up they're, they're both hooked up to ground right here and then I've got channel 1 is going to be let's see channel 1 is the yellow channel so that one is hooked up to the uh, capacitor here, this one. And then channel 2 is this one here. That's the output of the uh, 555 timer, which is also indicated by the blinking LED, you know, which again uh, we can change with this here, make it slower or make it go faster. So you, can, you can't even see it blink anymore, it's going so fast, but on the oscilloscope here you can see that it's definitely still, it just has a much higher frequency, and that is how the 555 timer works, or how this particular circuit works to produce a waveform, or a square wave.